Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice square root math problem, which is square root of x plus 7 plus square root of x minus 2, this is equal to 9. So what is the value of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. So we have the square root of x plus 7 plus square root of x minus 2, this is equal to 9. So the first step to do here is to square on both sides so that the square root of x plus 7 plus square root of x minus 2 to the power of 2, this is in the form of a plus b, raised to the power of 2, which we can express as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Applying this algebraic identity, then here we have the square root of x plus 7 raised to the power of 2, then plus square root of x minus 2, raised to the power of 2 plus 2, multiplied by square root of x plus 7, multiplied by square root of x minus 2, cross the parentheses, this is equal to 9 squared, which is 81. The next step is to eliminate the square root sign here. So that now, here we have x plus 7, plus, we eliminate the second square root sign here, so that we have x minus 2, then plus, here we have 2, into the parentheses, this is the square root of x plus 7, multiplied by square root of x minus 2, this is equal to 81. Now, here we have x plus x, this is 2x, then we have 7 minus 2, this is plus 5, then plus, here we have 2 into the parentheses, this is the square root of x plus 7, multiplied by square root of x minus 2, this is equal to 81. Now let's take 2x plus 5 on the right hand side, so that here we have 2 into the parentheses, this is the square root of x plus 7, multiplying by square root of x minus 2, this is equal to 81, minus 2x, minus 5. So we have that the square root of x plus 7, multiplying by x minus 2, this can be expressed as a square root of x plus 7, multiplying by x minus 2, this is equal to 81 minus 5. This is 76 minus 2x. Now, on the right hand side here, we can factor out 2. So that we have 2 into the parentheses. This is the square root of x plus 7. Multiplied by x minus 2. This is equal to, now here we can factor out 2 into the parentheses. This is the same thing as that 8 minus x. So let's divide both signs by 2. So that now, here we have the square root of x plus 7 multiplied by x minus 2. This is equal to 38 minus x. Now, let's expand this equation here so that we have the square root of, this is x times x, this is x squared, then we have x times minus 2, this is minus 2x, then plus 7 times x, this is 7x, then we have minus 7 times minus 2, this is minus 14, this is equal to 38 minus x. Now here we have the square root of this is x squared minus 2x plus 7x. This is plus 5x minus 14. This is equal to that 8 minus x. The next step is to square on both sides. So that now, here we eliminate the square root sign. This is x squared plus 5x minus 14, this is equal to, now we have that 8 
This is that 8 minus x to the power of 2. This is in the form of a minus b to the power of 2, which we can express as a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. So here we have that 8 squared plus x squared subtract 2 multiplied by that 8 multiplied by x. So this is x squared plus 5x minus 14. This is equal to that 8 squared and this is 1444. Then we have subtract this is 76x then plus x squared. So x squared here simplifies. Then here we have 5x minus 14. This is equal to 1444. Subtract 76x. Now, let's take minus 76x on the left hand side. So this is 5x plus 76x. This is equal to 1444 plus 14. So 5x plus 76x, this is 81x. And this is equal to 1444 plus 14. This is 1458. Let's divide both signs by 81. So that now the value of x here is equal to 1458 divided by 81. This is the same thing as 18. So we have x equal to 18. Now, let's verify. Let's verify. Now, if you recall, we end at the square root of x plus 7 plus square root of x subtract 2. This should give us a value of 9. So this means we have the square root of x is 18. So 18 plus 7 plus the square root of 18 minus 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 9. So this is the square root of 18 plus 7. This is 25. Then plus square root of 18 minus 2, this is 16. This is supposed to give us a value of 9. So square root of 25, this is 5. Plus square root of 16, which is 4. This should give us a value of 9. So we have that 5 plus 4, this is 9, which is equal to 9. So the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And this shows that the value of x here, which is equal to 18, satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video.